Hello, it's Liam Killen. <coughs> Today we'll be looking at a track from my latest EP, The Curious EP. The track is called Amethyst and it's in the electronic, lo-fi, hip hop sort of genre. But there's one instrument in particular that I wanted to take a look at and that's Arteria's DX7, which is a software synth and it's really something else to be honest. I'm not against any sort of hardware, in fact, I love hardware. But in this day and age, you have to create a lot of content as a producer. And sometimes having the budget and space to own a bunch of clunky hardware is not very practical. And for that reason, I resort to software synths. And it's becoming easier and easier to do that because they're just such high quality. Let's get straight into it. This is a little live performance of the track on the SP404, which is an instrument that I use a lot. So I have the session open here and the first thing we'll look at is the bass. One thing that I'll say is never underestimate presets because that's how I found this bass tone. So I went over to all types, bass, and I went straight to deep bass, which sounds amazing. So I'll just zoom in and solo that for a second. With the drums. I'm like a complete sucker for those old school, like plucky sort of bass tones. The tones that kind of sound like palm muted bass. Let's hear what it sounds like with the synth. God, it sounds so good. It has like that visceral feel to it, which I love. Okay, you know what, I'm feeling kind of sassy right here, so I'm gonna drop in another synth sample that we could play a bass line over. And this one's actually from my LK Full Melodic Sample Pack, which will be free for the next little while. I know some people are hurting for cash, so it's free for the time being until this whole coronavirus thing passes over, I guess. <sighs> so messed up. So I'm dropping it in here. I'm gonna change the BPM to 82, because that's the BPM of the sample. I think that sounds pretty good. There's one thing to definitely take note of here though. I'm a Logic Pro 10 guy, but this applies to all digital audio workstations. If you look into your keyboard notes, you'll see that some of the notes here are overlapping. This A is overlapping into this E, so I'm actually not hearing the E at all, which is kind of annoying, but there's a workaround. Basically, you just have to pull that note back and then you'll hear it. Oh, see it happened again. So same thing, I'll pull that note back. There's actually a shortcut for this on Logic. It's Control A, so we're selecting all the notes, and then Shift Dash, so that lengthens all the notes. I just heard a little chromatic thing there. Let's do this. That's cool. If one note overlaps into the next and it's like a chromatic or passing tone, the second note will sound, but it won't have any attack on it. So I'll show you this example here. So that's a really cool effect. It's kind of like a hammer on on the bass. It just makes it sound more like an electronic bass, like a real player almost. Cool, that's it for the bass. There's actually another classic tone on the DX7 that I wanna show you. 
So I'm gonna pull up another session and we'll get into it. I actually just completed this track today. I just sent it off to my mastering guy and the current title is Adventure, which is kind of lame. <laughs> I'm open to your suggestions, just leave those in the comments if you have any title suggestions. The preset I went to here is 80s FM, so to get there I went keys, 80s FM. It's literally the first preset there. I didn't change anything about it, I might have changed the cutoff slightly, but barely anything. Super juicy already. Let's hear what that sounds like in context, though. So in this context, it's very subtle. It's kind of in the background. Let's hear what that sounds like down the octave. Let's just go through a few other key sounds. We'll go through the presets. I'm not sure what it's like with you guys, but oftentimes with synths, I have my like three to five presets that I go to and then I don't use a synth for anything else. And that's why for me, it helps to have a bunch of options to go to and software synths are the best for that sort of thing. Yeah, so that's all I have to say for this video. Hopefully this was insightful. Thank you guys so much for watching. We're definitely going through some rough times right now and hopefully I brighten someone's day with some synth knowledge. You guys know the drill. If you're into this sort of content, make sure to like and subscribe. It'd be great to have you guys on board. This channel is consistently growing every day and I wouldn't be able to do it without you guys. So thank you guys so much for your support. I love making videos for you guys, so I'm gonna keep doing it. I wish you guys the best of health and I'll see you in the next video.